Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Vulcanoids. And, of course, the first episode was kind of mellow. We got our ship. I did some rearranging. We've got our menu here with all of our fun upgrades downstairs here. And we're going to be putting our produ production center down in here. And then just basically try to clean things up. Do keep in mind when you build the next segment, which might be what, if not this episode, the next. Um, this is your doorway to go there, through there. Something to keep in mind. But our next quest is to uh, raid a cog drill ship. Right. So, oh, we need to go up to the surface, because as I'm working on stuff, I tend to go downstairs. Now, the other first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to come over here. Oh, go into tools. And as you run around shooting these guys, make sure you're always picking up stuff, because all it takes is three copper ingot, and you can make yourself armor. Got a thousand HP on each one of them. Again, now that is, I think, the mod. So, I already made one. Now, the weird part is you see it automatically put in the slot four, so you have to hit slot four and actually put the armor on. Now, that I was running around killing guys, I found some grenades, which is what's in five. So, let's see who's the closest since we've only got our itty bitty gun. All right. This is what I call real difficult, but you do want to make sure you got enough ammo and other such stuff on you so you can smoke them. Because we are going to be hitting guys. It's a good place to grab sulfur around any fire pit. There's usually sulfur floating around, seems like. Ooh, another one of those big cogs. You want to grab these as you're going through, too. Because it's how we uh, keep upgrading our gear. All right, we'll just leave him. Some things aren't worth messing with. We have to learn the patterns after a bit. Save your ammo for, uh, you know, the combat to come. And having the armor on gives you a nice little bit of breathing room till we can get some really solid weapons here. Should be coming up real soon. Jeez, did I pick the one the furthest away from us or what? Yeah, I moved back to the port where we first started. That's some nice pop in right there. Ooh. Although they do change, man. Last time I was over here, there was one right there that was messing me up. Oh. As I was saying, every time you run into them, make sure you're grabbing the ammo because you're gonna need it. They've got all kinds of goodies. Woo! Holy crap. Always keep an eye on your distance, though. We Because... We got that eruption in 10 minutes, so we gotta haul some areas. Now the armor saving my ass. Oh, 
Okay, so there are certain things you want to take out first thing when you come in. First of them is going to be these. This is their respawners. I want to smoke these things, see how it's 90%, one, two. Oh, we might not get it. There we go. So they just lost that guy. This one's nowhere close. Do you want to make sure you stand over to the side because there will be more guys spawning and coming in on us? All right, then raid their crap. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, another turret. Nice. <laughs> Killed the power source. All right, what else have we got down here? Not a whole lot. I mean, I can destroy their uh, stuff here. Now, if you really want to make sure the drill ship's not going to go anywhere, oh no. Uh, you get it. Take the front. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at all that crap. Core 10, huh? Hmm. Pretty solid there. Nice and damaged. Okay, so now we gotta run all the way back. And as we're going, any copper or sulfur we happen to come by. Sulfur especially, and coal. Now, as a side note, to help you get ahead, where you can pick up some extra resources are all these giant things right here. See this thing here? So, each one of these has something different. Um, this one has coal. I thought I got all of it. Oh, maybe it respawns. And probably nothing. Oh, that respawned. Get all of that. And if you come over here, drop down here. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't need that. Yeah. I don't need too many of those. But down here... All kinds of coal, that's right, and they respawn after each eruption. So if you want to make a little couple little side tracks to get a whole bunch of coal. Haven't seen sulfur. Just copper and coal. But it's all good. I also found that my uh Ship doesn't get attacked nearly as much when I move it over to this spot. That spot where they had us before, I was getting smacked on all the time. How are we doing here? Good. Oh, I need to put stuff. Whoa. Put that away. Okay, so all the weird stuff. Let's see. 
that. I want to be very, very careful with the amount of things I put because, again, we only have so much room. So, all right, we're going to put... Alright, let's get our research on. Alright, gotta go up to our production. Now the big difference with this is you can do this, currently this production, and um, making all your various things, right? You can do that while you're underground. We're gonna start building a big production system that's gonna run the modules, so... Alright. Yeah, unlock new technology. And you can use any of the damage modules, right? But as you can see, you know, we need these for this one. Make this module out of that, or those. They're all, you know, different. Uh oh. Alright, back to what we were doing. Nothing. Okay, now it's time to focus on further upgrading our production tech using Intel game from COGS. We want to unlock the ability to craft new modules and further. Okay. back up yeah we gotta go back up to the old production that is nice that it has the little uh things here okay and here's the first schematic Okay, now what's it going to tell us to do? Oh, storage thing is damaged. Okay, now, we have long seen cogs using machines build in their drill ships called modules for production. It's time to harness this technology for us as well. They do not require coal, but they need steady supply of energy generated by your drip ships, boiler, or coal plants. All right. So, we go to, oh, let's see. Tech tab. There we go. Oh, 
Now we go down to our work table to make the actual module. There we go. And where I want to put this, I think we're going to put this right there. Because it's not one that we're really going to be messing with very much. Ooh. Okay, so production. Now we need our actual production table, and that's going to be under device. There we go. Product station. One copper tube, sulfur. All right, now we've got what we want, and we can start putting our production stuff here. So where do we want to put our production? I want those right next to each other. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Good thing is, you can always move these. we we'll just put it right there. All right, now we need more storage. Into the... Okay, so now we're going to make this through the... Oh, oops. I put the wrong thing in there. It's... Yeah. It'd be nice if you could separate these a little bit more. But we do need two copper plates. Oh, that's right. You could do it in there, too. So. Come over here to the menu. Go to components. And what does it say? How many of these do we need? Just one. Okay. And let's see. Over here to our device tab. Ooh, look at all the crap we can make. We can make a chest. Okay, now we need to put more copper tubes. And let's see. Now we go to module. Ooh, we're going to have to make that cool power plant real damn soon, I can tell you that. There we go. Now, where you want to put your drill ship storage is up to you. Depends on where you're going to be doing, um, you know, the majority of your production. And if we put it here, it'll be on top there too. What I found was interesting is they like putting them up here in the drill ships. But again, it doesn't matter wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it there for now. Now, the only other question is... Okay, so... It's going to start barking at us to make this real soon. So, we'll have to do that. But... Let's see. Oh, where are we supposed to go? All right. We want to make that one, so we've got plenty of those. But you can see red cog head from shredder, boiler, all the various things. So refinery tech, because this is going to be weapons. And now we go to what? Schematic? Yeah. Ooh, look at all the goodies. Simple explosives. B 
be... See, there you go. See that? You're running low on energy. Close some of the modules. Or... What do we need to make here? We need two copper plates. And two copper tubes. There we go. And now we can make our cool power plant. It's going to increase our power production. Let's see. Is it going there? Yeah. All right. Oh, let's see. You know what? Let's put that in the ceiling. There we go. So now... Everything it said about, hey, 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 power, we just added a whole bunch more power. Ooh, prepare for the attack. Okay, so this is not overly difficult. So you go into tool. You've got a shotgun. Now this is where mods start coming in, right? This is all they had before. Now you got this cool revol revolver. You got triple shotgun. To continue the quest line, you have to buy make this shotgun. It's going to tell us to make ammo next, I think. Now the interesting thing is you see how it locked right into the third slot? You can only have one weapon going at a time. Which sucks. Oh, look at that. It does let us go right to our storage. But again, this is for stuff, you know... Oh, where's that at? Oh, so we... Yeah, we doubled our slots here. This one is 24. So is that. So yeah, all together. Our little menu here. You can see the things that we've made. All right, side quest, damage cog drill ship. And we've already done that, man. But not a problem. Let's see, yeah, we got enough time. So go all over here real quick. But did it leave? Oh, look at that. How funny. Oh, that's how you do the weapons. Oh, man, I'm just an idiot. That's okay. We need to get geared up anyways. So again... But yeah, the, the Kong ships are popping in and out all the time. And yeah, I showed you guys to begin this things. You gotta destroy their... Um, if you want a ship to stay, you just gotta destroy their drill bit. But, again, ammo is the big thing, and I haven't decided if I'm going to use this shotgun, the other shotgun. This one, you only get two. I think you get four rounds in the other one. 
And then the SMG, that is uh, basically a machine gun. So that works real well. But you zip through ammo fast with it. Always grab that easy stuff quick. That does work pretty well, though, don't it? Man, we're doing this. All right, here we go. You know, since we already cleared some of this. There we go. Now we can at least... Take stuff here. That's it, huh, for their storage. All right. That's a good thing, man. You can get so much from the guys. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head back. I'm going to do a little bit of farming on the way back, and we will pick up in a brand new episode. I think. So thank you for joining me. I'm not going to go any further or make anything else except lots and lots of ammo. Because uh, I think we've got to do things like, oh, make our drop ship longer. So we'll put a new segment in the next episode. That, and then we're going to have to get a better drill bit so we can go deeper, because there's multiple levels to the depths with which you can drill. So join me next time. As always, I am the Rev. Keep your heads down, your pickaxes of doom up. And I'll see you again real damn soon.